In this video, I will show you how to highlight the cursor for free. So the first thing you need to do is to go to this website. I will provide the link in the description. And then you need to scroll down and see a place which says download, install and use. So for that, we need to install another software called Auto Hotkey, which is for free. I've also created a video here how to use this software to remap your keyboard. So it's a very popular software for creating scripts. So what basically this person here has done is to use auto hotkey to make another program or a script to make your cursor highlighted. And he's providing his software for free, which is very kind of him. So you need to then scroll down. He has two softwares. One is for PowerPoint linking toolbar, which is not the purpose of this video. But if you are interested, you can also try that. But what I'm interested in is cursor highlighter. So to download cursor highlighter, all you need to do is to click on here and then it will automatically go to the Google Drive and then you click on download. File is downloaded. And in the download folder, you can see the file. Bear in mind, I also have my own auto hotkey script written which is running in the taskbar, but you don't have to worry. You can copy this file anywhere in your computer and it would still work. Just to show you an example, I'm going to run it from the download folder itself. So all I need to do to run it is to double click on it and I get a message from the auto hot key saying you also got another auto hot key running. Do you want to run this as well? And it's a different folder than your original auto hot key. I say yes, run. And now you can see it created cursor highlighter settings file here. And my cursor is now highlighted by the default settings. So to change the settings to go down here, and you can see the cursor highlighter icon appeared or you, if it's not there just click on here to get all of your apps that are running and if you click on it it would stop you can see it became red that means we have paused the script and the other script that i've developed for myself is still running so they don't interfere unless you use the same shortcut keys so if i would select again it turns on if i right click on it it gives me a various different options one is a setting one is to exit once you exit this program can't do anything to your computer it is not there and you can switch to a picture cursor and becomes like a pen so if you got a pen and you're writing on your screen this will make it look more natural so if i right click again i can switch back to the highlighter I right click again I can switch to the focus sometimes you maybe want to focus an area and it can be helpful and then if you right click again we can go to the settings at the moment you can see it is on focus so I will so I could change it back to highlight on the general tab so these are the initial settings of the program which says what you want it to do when you right click or left click on the icon here on the taskbar, which is this one. That's something that you can change. But I think more interesting is this part, which is highlight settings. If you don't like yellow, you can just go and select any other color and then click on OK. And now the highlighter becomes that color. You can also change the opacity. Zero means invisible, which obviously you don't want because that means there is no highlighter or 255 would make it a complete green or whatever color you got so if you want to make it less visible just change it let's say to 50 and then you can see it becomes more invisible and i can increase the size let's make it double when you put 200 you can see it becomes elliptical and if i change this also to 200 back to circular so you can control that now we have here highlight left click so when you press left click what you want it to do so you can change the highlight when you left click so if i select this and then left click and you can see the highlighter disappears and if i select this it, you can set a new setting for that and when it's left click it will show that so you can see now it becomes purple and a smaller size when i left click you can also do the same thing with the right click picture. 
So you can choose a picture that you have and use that or if you're using a pen and then we have a focus setting and then we have a hot keys here. Hot keys you can create shortcuts. Let's say we want to create a shortcut to switch from what we got now to a focus. Sometimes focus is good. So click on any one of the main keys and then select a key to activate it. So let's say A. So if you press Alt plus A, it should focus. And you can save your settings here by clicking save and then click on done. And now what happens if I press Alt and A? So by pressing Alt and A, it focuses on area around the cursor. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video.